Stanzas on the Death of His Father by Jorge Manrique. Translated by Henry Wadsworth Longfellow. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Your reader, Michael Armenta. Oh, let the soul her slumbers break. Let thought be quickened and awake. Awake to see how soon this life is past and gone, and death comes softly stealing on. How silently! Swiftly our pleasures glide away. Our hearts recall the distant day with many sighs. The moments that are speeding fast we heed not, but the past, the past more highly prides. Onward its course the present keeps, onward the constant current sweeps, till life is done. And did we judge of time aright, the past and future in their flight would be as one. Let no one fondly dream again that hope and all her shadowy train will not decay. Fleeting as were the dreams of old, remembered like a tale that's told, they pass away. Our lives are rivers gliding free to that unfathomed boundless sea, the silent grave. Thither all earthly pomp and boast roll to be swallowed up and lost in one dark wave. Thither the mighty torrents stray, thither the brook pursues its way, and tinkling rill, they all are equal. Side by side the poor man and the son of pride lie calm and still. I will not here invoke the throng of orators and the sons of song, the deathless few. Fiction entices and deceives, and sprinkled o'er her fragrant leaves lies poisonous dew. To one alone my thoughts arise, the eternal truth, the good and wise, to him I cry, who shared on earth our common lot, but the world comprehended not his deity. This world is but the rugged road, which leads us to the bright abode of peace above. So let us choose that narrow way, which leads no traveler's foot astray from realms of love. Our cradle is the starting place, Life is the running of the race. We reach the goal when, in the mansions of the blest, death leaves to its eternal rest the weary soul. Did we but use it as we ought, this world would school each wandering thought to its high state. Faith wings the soul beyond the sky, up to that better world on high for which we wait. Yes, the glad messenger of love to guide us to our home above the Savior came. Born amid mortal cares and fears, he suffered in this veil of tears a death of shame. Behold, of what delusive worth the bubbles we pursue on earth, the shapes we chase, Amid a world of treachery, they vanish ere death shuts the eye and leave no trace. Time steals them from us, chances strange, disastrous accident and change that come to all. Even in the most exalted state, relentless sweeps the stroke of fate, the strongest fall. Tell me, the charms that lovers seek in the clear eye and blushing cheek, 
the hues that play o'er rosy lip and brow of snow when hoary age approaches slow ah where are they the cunning skill the curious arts the glorious strength that youth imparts in life's first stage these shall become a heavy weight when time swings wide his outward gate to weary age the noble blood of gothic name heroes emblazoned high to fame in long array how in the onward course of time the landmarks of that race sublime were swept away some the degraded slaves of lust prostrate and trampled in the dust shall rise no more others by guilt and crime maintain the scutcheon that without a stain their fathers bore wealth and the high estate of pride with what untimely speed they glide how soon depart bid not the shadowy phantoms stay the vassals of a mistress they of fickle heart these gifts in fortune's hands are found her swift revolving wheel turns round and they are gone no rest the inconstant goddess knows but changing and without repose still hurries on even could the hand of avarice save its gilded baubles till the grave reclaimed its prey let none on such poor hopes rely life like an empty dream flits by and where are they earthly desires and sensual lust are passions springing from the dust they fade and die but in the life beyond the tomb they seal the immortal spirit's doom eternally the pleasures and delights which mask in treacherous smiles life's serious task what are they all but the fleet coursers of the chase and death an ambush in the race wherein we fall no foe no dangerous pass we heed brook no delay but onward speed with loosened rein and when the fatal snare is near we strive to check our mad career but strive in vain could we new charms to age impart and fashion with a cunning art the human face as we could clothe the soul with light and make the glorious spirit bright with heavenly grace how busily each passing hour should we exert that magic power what ardor show to deck the sensual slave of sin yet leave the free-born soul within in weeds of woe monarchs the powerful and the strong famous in history and in song of olden time saw by the stern decrees of fate their kingdoms lost and desolate their race sublime who is the champion who the strong pontiff and priest and sceptred throng on these shall fall as heavily the hand of death as when it stays the shepherd's breath beside his stall i speak not of the trojan name neither its glory nor its shame has met our eyes nor of rome's great and glorious dead though we have heard so oft and read their histories little avails it now to know of ages past so long ago nor how they rolled our theme shall be of yesterday which to oblivion sweeps away like days of old where is the king don juan where each royal prince and noble heir of aragon where are the courtly gallantries 
the deeds of love and high emprise in battle done tourney and joust that charmed the eye and scarf and gorgeous panoply and nodding plume what were they but a pageant scene what but the garlands gay and green that deck the tomb where are the high-born dames and where their gay attire and jewelled hair and odors sweet where are the gentle knights that came to kneel and breathe love's ardent flame low at their feet where is the song of troubadour where are the lute and gay tambour they loved of yore where is the mazy dance of old the flowing robes inwrought with gold the dancers wore and he who next the sceptre swayed henry whose royal court displayed such power and pride oh in what winning smiles arrayed the world its various pleasures laid his throne beside but oh how false and full of guile that world which wore so soft a smile but to betray she that had been his friend before now from the fated monarch tore her charms away the countless gifts the stately walls the royal palaces and halls all filled with gold plate with armorial bearings wrought chambers with ample treasures fraught of wealth untold the noble steeds and harness bright and gallant lord and stalwart knight in rich array where shall we seek them now alas like the bright dewdrops on the grass they passed away his brother too whose factious zeal usurped the sceptre of castile unskilled to reign what a gay brilliant court had he when all the flower of chivalry was in his train but he was mortal and the breath that flamed from the hot forge of death blasted his years judgment of god that flame by thee when raging fierce and fearfully was quenched in tears spain's haughty constable the true and gallant master whom we knew most loved of all breathe not a whisper of his pride he on the gloomy scaffold died ignoble fall the countless treasures of his care his villages and villas fair his mighty power what were they all but grief and shame tears and a broken heart when came the parting hour his other brothers proud and high masters who in prosperity might rival kings who made the bravest and the best the bondsmen of their high behest their underlings what was their prosperous estate when high exalted and elate with power and pride what but a transient gleam of light a flame which glaring at its height grew dim and died so many a duke of royal name marquis and count of spotless fame and baron brave that might the sword of empire wield all these o oh death hast thou concealed in the dark grave their deeds of mercy and of arms in peaceful days or war's alarms when thou dost show o oh death thy stern and angry face one stroke of thy all-powerful mace can overthrow unnumbered hosts that threaten nigh pennon and standard flaunting high and flag displayed 
high battlements entrenched around bastion and moated wall and mound and palisade and covered trench secure and deep all these cannot one victim keep o death from thee when thou dost battle in thy wrath and thy strong shafts pursue their path unerringly o world so few the years we live would that the life which thou dost give were life indeed alas thy sorrows fall so fast our happiest hour is when at last the soul is freed our days are covered o'er with grief and sorrows neither few nor brief veil all in gloom left desolate of real good within this cheerless solitude no pleasures bloom thy pilgrimage begins in tears and ends in bitter doubts and fears or dark despair midway so many toils appear that he who lingers longest here knows most of care thy goods are bought with many a groan by the hot sweat of toil alone and weary hearts fleet-footed is the approach of woe but with a lingering step and slow its form departs and he the good man's shield and shade to whom all hearts their homage paid as virtue's son roderick manrique he whose name is written on the scroll of fame spain's champion his signal deeds and prowess high demand no pompous eulogy ye saw his deeds why should their praise in verse be sung the name that dwells on every tongue no minstrel needs to friends a friend how kind to all the vassals of this ancient hall and feudal fife to foes how stern a foe was he and to the valiant and the free how brave a chief what prudence with the old and wise what grace in youthful gaieties in all how sage benignant to the serf and slave he showed the base and falsely brave a lion's rage his was octavian's prosperous star the rush of caesar's conquering car at battle's call his scipio's virtue his the skill and the indomitable will of hannibal his was a trajan's goodness his a titus's noble charities and righteous laws the arm of hector and the might of tolly to maintain the right in truth's just cause the clemency of antonine aurelius's countenance divine firm gentle still the eloquence of adrian and theodosius's love to man and generous will in tented field and bloody fray an alexander's vigorous sway and stern command the faith of constantine i more the fervent love camillus bore his native land he left no well-filled treasury he heaped no pile of riches high nor massive plate he fought the moors and in their fall city and tower and castled wall were his estate upon the hard-fought battle-ground brave steeds and gallant riders found a common grave and there the warrior's hand did gain the rents 
and the long vassal train that conquest gave and if of old his halls displayed the honored and exalted grade his worth had gained so in the dark disastrous hour brothers and bondsmen of his power his hand sustained after high deeds not left untold in the stern warfare which of old twas his to share such noble leagues he made that more and fairer regions than before his guerdon were these are the records half effaced which with the hand of youth he traced on history's page but with fresh victories he drew each fading character anew in his old age by his unrivalled skill by great and veteran service to the state by worth adored he stood in his high dignity the proudest knight of chivalry knight of the sword he found his cities and domains beneath a tyrant's galling chains and cruel power but by fierce battle and blockade soon his own banner was displayed from every tower by the tried valor of his hand his monarch and his native land were nobly served let portugal repeat the story and proud castile who shared the glory his arms deserved and when so oft for weal or woe his life upon the fatal throw had been cast down when he had served with patriot zeal beneath the banner of castile his sovereign crown and done such deeds of valor strong that neither history nor song can count them all then on ocania's castled rock death at his portal came to knock with sudden call saying good cavalier prepare to leave this world of toil and care with joyful mien let thy strong heart of steel this day put on its armor for the fray the closing scene since thou hast been in battle strife so prodigal of health and life for earthly fame let virtue nerve thy heart again loud on the last stern battle plain they call thy name think not the struggle that draws near too terrible for man nor fear to meet the foe nor let thy noble spirit grieve its life of glorious fame to leave on earth below a life of honor and of worth has no eternity on earth tis but a name and yet its glory far exceeds that base and sensual life which leads to want and shame the eternal life beyond the sky wealth cannot purchase nor the high and proud estate the soul in dalliance laid the spirit corrupt with sin shall not inherit a joy so great but the good monk in cloistered cell shall gain it by his book and bell his prayers and tears and the brave knight whose arm endures fierce battle and against the moors his standard rears and thou brave knight whose hand has poured the life-blood of the pagan horde o'er all the land in heaven shalt thou receive at length the guerdon of thine earthly strength and dauntless hand cheered onward by this promise sure strong in the faith entire and pure thou dost profess depart thy hope is certainty the third 
the better life on high shalt thou possess. O death, no more, no more delay, my spirit longs to flee away and be at rest. The will of heaven my will shall be, I bow to the divine decree, to God's behest. My soul is ready to depart, no thought rebels, the obedient heart breathes forth no sigh, the wish on earth to linger still were vain, when tis God's sovereign will that we shall die. O thou, that for our sins didst take a human form, and humbly make thy home on earth, thou, that to thy divinity a human nature didst ally by mortal birth, and in that form didst suffer here torment and agony and fear, so patiently, by thy redeeming grace alone, and not for merits of my own, O oh, pardon me. As thus the dying warrior prayed, without one gathering mist or shade upon his mind, encircled by his family, watched by affection's gentle eye, so soft and kind, his soul to him who gave it rose. God led it to its long repose and glorious rest, and though the warrior's sun has set, its light shall linger round us yet, bright, radiant, blessed. End of poem. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain.